Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting. So, wait a minute. I, I need to get into this. I see the Sun, the Two of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Death card. If you've been feeling defeated when it comes to your partnerships, your relationships, your friendships, if there's been a lot of disappointment, it's like you're about to have a, a, a period of recovery. And there's a... The death card is here. There's a huge ending, a new beginning, a change coming. You have here the Emperor. The Page of Pentacles, the Strength card. So some of you, you have a person that's coming towards you. This person feels like they need to do their due diligence. Okay? So you have a person that wants to come towards you. Yeah, look at this, the fool. Some of you, you have a person. Okay, now, and this does not have to be romantic. This could be any type of partnership. It could be a friendship, but it feels like somebody can actually what I'm hearing. Somebody can feel your disappointment is what I'm hearing. Somebody can really sense. They can feel your disappointment in a situation. But the sign of the two of cups, there's better times ahead. If you've been feeling like alone in any kind of isolation or something like that, the two of cups, this is a lot of soulmate energy. So um, with soulmate energy, again, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a friend, a family member, but you have like strong bonds coming in with people who want to offer you commit commitment. Um, you could have, like I said, had some kind of conflict or a situation that left you feeling very defeated when it came to relationships, maybe even to children. There's like some kind of major healing that's happening. Somebody could have lost a family. Like gone through a breakup or separation, divorce or something like that. And could have been just feeling defeated. Or this could be two people coming together and you guys are feeling defeated. Like, oh, you know, I, I thought by now I would have been... Um, in a relationship, had kids, or something like that. But the Five of Swords, like, there's a, a deep healing that's taking place. The Death card, the Emperor, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you have an Emperor that wants to come in. And uh, this person, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles seems like it's small. Yes, but the Page of Pentacles is with the Emperor. So if the Page of Pentacles is coming in with the Emperor... Again, it's somebody doing their due diligence. Also, the, the emperor could be receiving some type of new opportunity or confirmation. And that's giving a person now the strength to take a leap of faith. The devil is here, the five of cups, yeah. Someone could have been feeling very um, disappointed or defeated in the past by some kind of situation. The sun is here, the strength card, and the two of cups. Now, this could be, there could be a Leo somewhere involved or this sun is just, you are finally getting a lot of truth, clarity, um, enlightenment now about your own personal strength, which is giving you a lot of courage to go after what you want. There's a lot of determination here. It feels like somebody also got very determined to get themselves out of perhaps some kind of toxic situation, relationship, dynamic or whatever that had someone like grieving. Somebody was very disappointed. There's two number fives here. So five could be significant. A lot of changes here. Definitely a lot of changes also to someone's um, just like how your, your prosperity and abundance. It's like perseverance, power, prosperity, peace. All the P's are coming in. Positivity. <laughs> But somebody was in a while, like feeling very sad, very disappointed, grieving over a situation or a person. But this person is coming in, the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. Ooh, Eight of Wands. Somebody is coming in quickly. Okay, the Four of Swords. So this is a masculine who is recovering. This person is coming in passionately, but they're coming in with a plan to move forward. And and something here it could it could take off quickly. The six of wands and the eight of wands. Somebody wants to um, acknowledge you, like not that you're seeking validation, but somebody does want to validate you. This person is coming in with some type of message of truth or clarity 
when you have eight. The six of wands, too, is a person that could be very confident. That's the person that may have a, a following, a platform, but they're accomplished. They're, they're receiving rewards and recognition. For some of you, you could have a person right now, they are resting, they're retreating, they're healing, they're coming out of something, or this could be you, of course. And it's like once somebody finally feels like they have reached a certain level where they've been victorious in a situation, maybe even they've been able to be vindicated or validated in something, this person is going to have the confidence to come towards you or this will be you. Some of you, you're waiting to do something in your business or you know, in your personal life or whatever. And it's like, once you do this, there, there somebody has just been waiting on a, a, the right opportunity. The Page of Pentacles, the Emperor. This could be a business opportunity. You have the tower in the reverse. With the death card. So you could have been affected by an ending that happened in someone else's life or somebody has not been able to come towards you because you're still grieving over something that happened in the past or you and this person both could be still like healing, trying to overcome a situation from the past. But that's changing. The fool is here. Ooh, the fool, the ten of cups. The Knight of Swords. This is someone making a decision to come towards you. It's like somebody wants to be assertive. Um, the Ten of Wands in the reverse and then the Ten of Pentacles. So there's 10, 10, 10 with the Emperor here and the Page of Pentacles. Somebody literally was just waiting to figure out something here. Seven of Cups. There was some kind of illusion here. About a queen of wands, possibly. Doesn't have to be. But I do feel somebody was in two minds about this person or being influenced by this person. It had them juggling. This person is now standing their ground. They're no longer going to deal with whatever this conflict is when it comes to a person. So someone has had a person in their life, whether close to them or in the background, where it's like this person... Someone has been confused on whether or not they should offer a divine feminine, like a, a possible counterpart of theirs, like they're all. And it's because of this person. This this comes out in the readings every day. Like, I, I would be so happy when somebody finally realizes who this is in their storyline. But it looks like with the Page of Pentacles and the Emperor here, this masculine, they're seeing who or what this is. This person may actually have to take a leap of faith to move away from their family because whoever this person is could be someone in their family. Yeah, the Ten of Wands in the reverse. This was something this person was um, refusing to accept or put down. It was an illusion. Somebody definitely had rose-colored glasses on about, I feel, honestly, about this Queen of Wands. And with the Sun and the Strength card here, something is being exposed about this Queen of Wands here. How this person is in this devil-like energy when it comes to somebody's partnerships and relationships. Yeah. And somebody is choosing now to move forward because they're like, I'm tired. Somebody is tired of juggling with this person. This could be a friend, a family member, someone's ex-wife, girlfriend, or whatever. But somebody is just, they're tired of juggling. Okay, now, for some people, this may not even be someone physically in someone's life. Somebody could just be just like having a difficult time with finding balance because of the emotional turmoil and or abuse that came from dealing with a situation. You know, sometimes a person will go through an experience with somebody and, you know, you're just not right after that. <laughs> it takes a long time. This could be a situation like that. If this isn't someone's still actively dealing with a friend, a family member or an ex, this person just had some very deep trauma that they were still obsessing over and it was oppressing this person. It was, this was just hanging out in somebody's shadow, making them feel very powerless. Somebody has finally realized that they, they really have to break the, the cord or the chain to a particular person. The magician. Seven of Pentacles. So somebody right now is trying to invest in manifesting a spiritual connection 
or just manifesting the things that they want or that they need. This person, yeah, and the Page of Cups. Somebody wants to make an offer. They do. Eight of Swords in the reverse, but somebody has to come out of this indecisive energy here so that they can move out of an energy of being stuck, stagnant, five of pentacles left out in the cold. Somebody dealt with a person who, I'm assuming after a breakup or something, something happened with the magician card here. This is manifestations, but somebody could have also done work so that a person who was trying to invest in a new connection, they would always just be hanging in limbo, like paralyzed by fear, very indecisive, and they will always walk away. Somebody did this to a person to punish them because they left a group, they left a family or a community. And so to further isolate a person, whoever this is, they, they did something so that a person, they couldn't go into like a romantic relationship, the nine of swords, this masculine for sure, this person has been like, completely just isolated this person has gone through hardships they are having stress worry fear anxiety and all of that but this person wants to make an offer a very generous offer to this queen of cups somebody knows this so they came in with the ten of swords to sabotage this wow ten of swords yep and then the Justice card is in the reverse. Mm. Four of Pentacles. So somebody pretty much made a decision for another person that if they were to stop somebody from making a decision, that it would be best for an entire group. This feels like a family member. Like somebody is just like, you know, I think it would be best if you didn't choose that person for the sake of the family. For the sake of the family, or whatever, you know, maybe you should just be single. You should focus on your security or stability, or you should be with a person that we would choose for you. Somebody here just, you know, has been, has demonstrated a lot of prejudice or bias when it comes to something that another person wants to do. But with this four of pentacles here, whoever, somebody here is holding on. They're holding on to what they want. But this person, this situation has made this masculine very, like, closed off emotionally. The Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups in the reverse. King of Wands. This masculine wants to go towards this divine feminine, but somebody is projecting an energy onto this person to make them think that they are not deserving of this type of, of this person. So this is this is really really um shady. It's like somebody here literally is telling a person like, yeah, I don't think you should pursue that person. Um, you know, you're at the seven of pentacles right now, working on your life. That person is already at the nine of pentacles. You probably need to just move on. Like, I don't really think that you should be focused on a connection with this person or whatever. But this this is this energy comes out a lot. This is not somebody that was saying this because they cared for a person and wanted to protect them. This person has some kind of hidden motives or agenda. Somebody here just does not like someone's um, romantic interest or a person that somebody wants to do business with or whatever. There is some, some hidden jealousy or envy here. This king of wands. It's because somebody already knows that this king of wands, this masculine they're going to, this is someone who is destined to be, I mean, the emperor, they're meant to be very successful, strong, powerful, confident. They're a leader. So somebody here was trying to make this person make a very poor decision about going towards this empress who is the star. This empress could be a healer. They're very nurturing, very kind. This person is, is very like creative, very beautiful. So somebody didn't want this masculine, yeah, the king of cups here again. This divine feminine energy comes up as a queen of cups. Very, very loving, caring, kind, nurturing. This person has a healing energy. And somebody was in the ear of this masculine telling this masculine, like, yeah, I don't really think you should pursue that connection. 
even though this queen and king of cups, divine feminine, divine masculine, these two people have been like emotionally connected or invested in one another. Somebody is taking time out now to see though with the four of cups. They're like, wow, I keep missing opportunities. They're having a real wake up call. Now that exactly the hierophant in the reverse, somebody has been leading them astray. Ace of Cups. Somebody has been giving them very bad advice when it comes to love, when it comes to their own personal happiness. Even if it's not about a relationship, somebody has just been doing or saying something to turn a person away from something that is actually good for them. This was all a lie. Somebody was being very deceptive and betrayed a person. This is, you know, somebody, a lot of word curses. Hmm. Seven of Cups. Falling right underneath the Empress. So the, the illusions, the confusions, the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the world... The illusion and the confusion that someone has been under when it comes to this divine feminine that has had them really dragging their feet and not making this commitment, this is over. The world card. Somebody is no longer going to drag their feet in this connection. They've gotten the epiphany, the download, the missing piece, the clarity that they need. When it comes to them knowing what they want to do or need to do in order to have a solid foundation. And this person is deciding that they do want this divine feminine to be a part of their foundation. Again, this could be romantic or even business. But somebody was definitely trying to talk a person out of building something with a particular person. And it, it was out of jealousy. Somebody here was very sneaky and calculated in trying to create this, this strategy. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, these two people are supposed to work together. These two people can collaborate and do something very meaningful. They can. This is like some kind of project, plan, team, collaboration. Two people can learn a lot from one another. The Hangman. With the Hangman here, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Hangman. Somebody here has gone through so much. They've hit rock bottom and realized that perhaps they are turning their back or detaching because and missing opportunities because of their perspective being off. Somebody is realizing that the hangman, like they keep on trying to people please and sacrifice themselves for people who don't have their best interest at heart, especially when it comes to them having good luck. Yeah, not anymore though. This person is like not anymore. King of Swords, Five of Wands. This person is like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing this anymore. Ace of Swords, whoever has been talking to this um, masculine, this masculine is standing up saying, listen, he, he's about to say something to this Queen of Swords. Like, listen, you need to just, I, I don't need to hear anything else that you have to say about my passion in New Beginning. He may ghost this person. Yeah, somebody is choosing to no longer celebrate with a person. They're like, I just, I don't want to hear anything else that you have to say because you're trying to create an illusion about my, my friends, my family, my lover. You're trying to create an illusion so that I don't move forward. This, somebody is really putting their foot down with somebody like, yeah, just keep, keep your thoughts and your opinions to yourself. I don't want to hear it. Somebody has finally seen that somebody is a liar. Somebody is sneaky, conniving. Oh, yeah. Will of Fortune. There's a major shift and change happening. And this King of Swords, like, if this person needs to make a decision, especially if this is, like I said, teamwork, collaboration, and something professional, this person's like, when it comes to all of this jealousy and this envy, this conflict, chaos, the, the differences of opinions or whatever, all of this, you know, being prejudiced or, or judgmental or, or personal bias that you have, Somebody is drawing the line in the sand and they're like, no, you will not say anything else to me about my decision making.
this queen of swords needs to go and focus on themselves. And I feel like that's what somebody is about to tell a person. You need to be concerned with your own life. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Hermit. This King of Swords is about to tell this Queen of Swords. I know, I know we have a connection. We talk, you know, especially if this is a friend, family member, whatever. But this, somebody is about to say, you need to go and figure out what you want to do. You need to figure out what you like and what you want to do for yourself. Because the Three of Cups is here in the reverse. The Three of Cups in the reverse could obviously mean people are not celebrating. But to, this right here, the Three of Cups in the reverse, can be when you're surrounded by the wrong people. And, and maybe you're around these people and you're seeking some kind of approval. Somebody is about to tell a person, you need to go and figure out why you're trying to do things in your life to seek the approval and the validation of other people because I'm not doing that. Somebody said, I'm going to go and choose to do what I want to do and be with who I want to be with, however I want to be with that person and do what I want to do. I'm not here to satisfy you, friends, family, or anybody else. Somebody is really putting their foot down with the person. In. And like I said, three of cups, this could be someone in a friend group or family. I'm gonna use this. Um, I think I'm gonna use this. Deck. I don't know. Like this, this deck is gonna pick up a lot of energy. It's a love deck, but um, keep in mind, that whoever this this third party energy is, this could be a family member. This could absolutely be a family member. Somebody is just telling a person though, you need to go. And learn how to live your life for you. But stop trying to make me live my life for everything and everyone else. And, and have me miserable. The death card here. Hmm. Yeah, something is, is, it has come to an end. The six of cups here. Somebody has put an end to something with a person from their past or from their childhood. Or someone that they have a lot of history with. These people may laugh and talk and go down memory lane together or whatever but somebody is just like the with the will of fortune like somebody is saying times have changed things have changed yeah here here you have it this queen of wands this queen of wands is is afraid that they're going to be left out that's all this is this person just does not want look justice and judgment and the hermit yeah somebody has come to the conclusion I'm done with this. I'm done. You 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 can't come around. You can't be in my business. I don't want to hear your thoughts and your opinions about anything. Just move. <laughs> like, move. Get out the way. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody is focusing right now on their security, their stability. The Three of Pentacles. Somebody is, like, I'm, is saying, this masking for sure. I'm not about to miss out on opportunities to have peace, prosperity, abundance, wish fulfillment in my life. Page of Wands, there's exciting news coming in. This person is just like, yeah. Ace of Wands, a lot of exciting news coming in. The star about wish fulfillment. <laughs> wow, okay. Wow, look. The star, the four of wands, the three of cups. This is a celebration. Nine of cups. Yeah. And somebody here who was given the boot is upset. The devil, eight of cups. Also, this is some toxic devil in a dress like Jezebel kind of energy. This person is upset because they have to move on. This person is upset because somebody is kicking them out of their energy. Saying, you cannot be around me. Don't call me. Don't text me. You can't be in, in my energy or whatever. Yeah, this masculine is successfully drawing this line in the sand. They're like, this is it. Four of cups in reverse. Somebody is choosing to no longer be discontent and bored. Two of swords. This person has been discontent, bored, at a crossroads when it comes to love. And it's because of this person and their energy. I really can't tell if this is someone, if this mask has still been like dealing with this person or it's an overbearing um, family member or what it is. 
I'm not getting like a lot of sexual energy. I'm just getting a lot of controlling, oppressive like energy. That's why it, it doesn't even feel that much like a... I mean, this could be like an ex or somebody who is um like possibly like friends with benefits or something like that. Somebody who wants a chance, you know, with this masculine. Or, you know, maybe it was at one point they entertained the idea of being together and, and now they're not. Somebody is upset because a person is choosing to pursue another person and they wanted to be up next or whatever. Yeah, the world here in the Ten of Wands. Somebody is blocked. Somebody here has been doing some magic. Okay. The world Ten of Wands, so it's over. The magician and the Seven of Wands, somebody is standing their ground. They're not about to be manipulated or have someone throwing magic at them. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Some wow. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, the Hierophant, Two of Cups, definitely a marriage, Ace of Pentacles. And there you have the Ten of Swords and the Lovers. Somebody here is has divorced someone or is divorcing a person. This is somebody's ex or something, though, who always thought that like they could come back. If this is an ex, what 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 makes me a little bit concerned in this reading now? Now that I'm taking anybody's side, but if if at first I'm like it doesn't feel like this person is still dealing with this part with whoever this ex or if it's an ex, it doesn't feel like this masculine is dealing with them. But it makes me wonder if there's some type of connection between them, like still that is being hidden. Because how is this person in like coming out in these readings and in this masculine's energy like this? Is it due to magic or what? But I mean, with this type of manipulation, it, it feels like like there has to be some kind of conversation or an exchange. Because what I'm picking up is the kind of person that's like telling somebody like, "No, I don't think you should do this or you shouldn't do that or whatever." It's like why? Why are you doing all of this talking? This is somebody that a person has to be connected to somehow, even if they just talk to this person online. Seven of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Wands, yeah. Somebody here has like a plan to cause some kind of conflict or this person is jealous and envious and they're trying to make this mask and be in this Knight of Wands energy. This is causing like a, a, a problem though. There's going to be some kind of separation or something here. Or for some of you, oh, for some of you, there's somebody that has come in between you and the person and you may have told this person, like, I don't want to be involved in this situation. I feel like you took a break from this. You took a leap of faith and that may have been what woke this person. That's why this mask now is just like, wait a minute. Now this masculine is getting very, very um serious and they want to come out of limbo. It's because whoever this is, like this is this forced you to walk away. If, if this masculine is not actively talking to this person, whatever their drama or trauma is from the situation, it's just like I can, I'm not dealing with this. Because maybe this person was very triggered or emotionally detached or, or whatever it is like this person was carrying some kind of baggage into a partnership or a relationship now and i feel like a divine feminine was just like no i'm not dealing with that like you still have the energy of somebody else on you in you around you and no <laughs> i think that was this person's wake up call like i really better get it together because this is somebody who wants marriage they want a very serious commitment. Page of Wands, there's exciting news here coming about a very passionate beginning, the star. Wish fulfillment. The four of wands, like, this is celebrations. For some of you, this person, they may want you to be a plus one to a wedding or different celebrations. They want you to be their forever plus one. Like, you're their wish fulfillment. But they have to send this other person packing.
And again, it could be a family member. This could be some, a family member. And you're just like, you know, your sister, cousin, mom, or whoever. I feel like it's a feminine out here that's like, that person is, it has destroyed our relationship. Or you feel like you don't really want to invest in a connection because of this third party. For some of you, it's from it's a it's an ex. For some of you, though, it's a it's like a sister or a mother. The five of swords, yeah. This feels like something like it could be dysfunctional family. Okay, this could be two siblings, two kids who grew up in you know with dysfunctional parents. And they have certain beliefs. This person has like a, a mother figure or a sibling or somebody that's telling them they need to do this or do that. And, and, and whatever they're telling this person, it's not working for them. Yeah, the King of Pentacles here. It's like the King of Pentacles goes out, they meet somebody that they really, really like, and then boom, here's this Leo again. I don't think you need to do that. I don't think, you know, you need to slow down or... You know, are you sure you really want to date that kind of person? How do you think mom or dad will feel about it? It's that type of energy. You know, how do you think the, the community will feel? How do you think people will feel in the church or whatever? Like, it's, it's something stupid like that. I mean, a lot of people live like that, but this feels like somebody who doesn't really want to conform. Yeah, and this person is very disappointed. This person is very disappointed that wish fulfillment for this masculine as a high priestess. And the high priestess can see through their mess. The high priestess can see through their illusions. That's why. This is this is somebody. This is a, ch a childish person. This person acts very strong. And 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 with the, the strength card and the page of cups, what I'm getting here is, you know, Leo. Nothing against Leos, but Leo definitely can carry like that sun, that star like energy. This is somebody who wants the attention to be on them all the time. And now that the attention of this masculine is not on this person, their attention is actually on being happy with somebody else who they may want a family with. This person is losing their, like they're losing it. But their cover has been blown here. The moon and the tower. Somebody here, this masculine can see. That somebody is creating an illusions and trying to sabotage their life for their connections because it's masculine. For some of you, there's a masculine, their connection with a, a particular feminine has pushed you away. This person wants to come back and let you know. Yeah, take action. They want to come back and take action. King of Wands and the Sun. This masculine could have Leo in their chart as well. They definitely have fire in their chart. They want to come towards you with an offer, the chariot. And what they're offering is they want you to go from the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. They're the king of pentacles, okay? So you guys are showing up as the king and queen of cups and the king and queen of pentacles, as well as the empress and the emperor. This person wants to take action towards you, and they want you to go from being grounded, stable, to the two of you collaborating, doing things together, and possibly becoming married. But that means that whoever this person is, this other feminine that's creating all of these illusions, they have to be left out. And this person has decided this connection is worth me leaving them out. Y'all let me know in the comments for you is if you resonate with this, like, is this a, um, a mother figure, a sister, an old friend? You know, sometimes people have um, relationships and they have platonic relationships even with people of the opposite sex. But when a person gets into a serious relationship, that can really cause problems for some people because the friend doesn't want to respect boundaries. The fact that a person has a significant other, okay? It can be siblings or parents as well, whomever it is, as well as exes, of course. But you have a person here who, there's a Leo here that is very, very immature. This feminine is very immature. It's like all eyes on me, everything has to be about me or whatever. And they're, they're projecting a lot of energy onto this masculine and their connections. Because they're doing all of this so that they can get their way. And again, now, if this is an ex, whoever this ex is, <laughs> I'm assuming they're, they're watching, stalking, spying, or getting information about somebody from someone or this masculine is still talking to this person. I feel like for some of you, if this masculine is talking to this person, they're talking to them online. 
you know, this could, um, I don't know why I'm saying for some, this is, yeah, it's like online. Somebody could post like a story or something and their ex is watching and commenting or, or saying so like, there's some, some, some kind of way that this, if this is an ex or family member or whomever, they're tracking what this person is, is doing. They're monitoring this masculine. Divine Feminine. You have air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have some unexpected news coming, a surprise. Divine Feminine at the bottom of the deck. So what's the message for Divine Feminine? Within a few months, okay? Within a few months, you have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, bad influences, unsupported friends and family, drugs and alcohol, bad habits, overthinking, mental prison, okay? So you could have... um. You could have a, a, a person who was a twin flame. This is a divine connection. This person is starting to recognize that they have someone very toxic, controlling, manipulative, who doesn't really support them. This is a friend or family member. But within a few months, this person is going to really understand this situation. And they're going to want to start fresh with you. For some of you, they want to reconcile with you. Um, or they just want a fresh start. Especially for those of you, right, this hasn't turn into, you know, an official relationship, they want to come towards you and present an offer of a, an actual relationship. But again, some of you, you just see a person in their life, a friend or family member as a red flag. Yeah, this is called distance, emotional or emotional distance between you and this person. Okay, proposal. They may want to do business with you, marry you, being whatever, but... There's a very dishonest person here that's causing a lot of confusion. This is a toxic person that's refusing to, to let go. So this somebody in this person's life, a friend or family member knows that somebody is probably going to marry you. They don't want to be left behind because this person is leaving something behind in order to build their, their finances and their account because they see you as them. Like this person, they want to build their life with you. And somebody here is, is hiding the fact that they are really, really in pain about the fact that there is a masculine here who is designing a serious connection with you and they're moving on from whoever this person is. Yeah, somebody's going through a spiritual awakening. It's safe for you to love. This person wants to make this connection work. But you may have to back away from this person and allow them to miss you for them to really see that this is it's all love, but whoever this other person is, like they have to go. Yeah, this person's making plans to come towards you. They're determined. They want to be a provider. They want to make the effort because they know that this is unconditional love. But big changes are coming. Changes are coming. There is an, a very toxic, manipulative, narcissistic person that's going to be exposed. Yeah, and somebody has to put a boundary in order to have this divine connection with their twin flame or life partner. Manifesting. You have a fire sign that's manifesting a union with you. Or well, there's a fire sign that knows that someone is manifesting a union with you. You have out here fire and earth. But something here is um, someone is trying to tempt a person. So you have somebody who is very, who's possibly very loyal to you. Somebody is trying to tempt them to move in a different direction. It's a past love. This this past love, it, it feels more like it could be a friend though. Somebody has fire and earth in their chart. And they're manifesting a union. But while they manifest this union, they're being tempted by something or someone from the past. So, you know, this is um very typical. Somebody sees how a person is into you and it is causing them to be very jealous. And they're trying to, in their own secretive, manipulative way, sabotage this connection. Somebody is just jealous. They are. Because they see that, like, somebody is loyal to you. They see that somebody... Is committed to you. They're, they're loyal, whether they're in a relationship with you or not. Somebody can tell, like, yeah, their person, they must really want to build a relationship. This person could be improving their life right now, and somebody's like, wow, 
whoever they end up with is going to be so lucky. And that person that they end up with could be you. This person is about to ghost the situation because they know that you're their better, their better half or just their other half. So somebody here is ghosting people to pursue a connection. Yin and Yang, first time a power couple. Let's see. This person is, is seasoned, like they're mature. This is the kind of relationship, no matter the ups and downs or whatever. And that's why people are throwing a lot of things at you and this person so that it will tempt you. Old feelings. Yeah. This is somebody's ex. That's trying to tempt the person back because they know that the person has moved on. This may not be an ex, though, for some of you. This is somebody who has a friend. And it's a friend that they may have slept with before. Or they could they talked about being in a relationship. Or this is a friend that somebody may have slept with. Or they went on a few dates. That person wants to be more. And now that they see this individual going towards like a connection, we got a package. <laughs> Message. Yep. That's what it is. Thank you, Spirit. So you you could be dealing with a person right now who, if this is a, a, a um, family member, they have somebody that has feelings for them because they did something together. They they had there was some kind of intimacy shared between them. And somebody is like, well, don't you remember how it used to be? Or wouldn't you like to see what could happen in the future with us or whatever? But this masculine has their eye on somebody. This masculine has found the person that they they want to build a future with. Like They see themselves being in a power couple relationship with somebody. Or this is somebody's ex. They were a power couple together. But this masculine has now fallen for somebody else. And... They somebody is upset because the person has improved. They've gone through an awakening. They're they're bigger and better than they were when they left. And somebody's like, oh wow, somebody else is about to get my good thing. You know, and it's like, no, you don't own that person. <laughs> and for, for some of you, this could be somebody in your life doing this. You know, somebody could be very upset about the fact that you're about to be in this very seasoned connection with somebody that and it could be a power couple yeah falling in somebody is falling in love with a person or they've already fallen in love patience is here you and this person you're playful you're patient with each other you're kind you're supportive somebody is just like man this 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 guy this girl they're falling in love like they may have met the one this has a lot of people shaking in their boots right now Love at first sight, accountability. Wow. This person is going to come in soon and confess that it's you they want. You're their soulmate. It's you. They want to build a future with you. Law of attraction. They're manifesting you. Or they know that when they got you, they, they knew and I've said this a lot of times. That I, there was a reading I did maybe two or three weeks ago. You and this person, you're an answer prayer for one another. There's just been too much interference. I really wish I could figure out exactly what... The, I know it's different for everybody, but... It's like somebody has... For some of you, it's a family member. The family member is very jealous. Because this is like their favorite sibling or, or cousin, child, whatever... They do not want to lose this person's attention. Okay. For some, it's like an ex. Somebody could have an ex that always saw themselves being with you or your person and you guys, you know, being like a power couple or whatever. But the relationship had ended and it doesn't look like there is any chance of a reconciliation. And then for some, it's like somebody had a friend 
but it could have been a friends with benefits type of situation. Their friend has more feelings for them. Or you have a friend that has feelings for you. They they look at you in a more romantic way and not so much platonic. But to see you or for somebody to see your person going into a real romantic relationship, somebody is, is sad. They're bothered by it. Somebody is really like going in like, don't you remember how it was when we did this or we did that? Like trying to go down memory lane and whatever. And somebody is just like, well, yeah, you know, we had a great time. It was cool, but this is different. Like I'm, I'm going towards somebody that I want to build a future with, like possibly marry. Somebody has just made up their mind. Wow. It's hard that the reason why I feel that for a lot of people, this is family is because it's very hard. It's family or a friend because it's very hard for this masculine, especially to like really tell a person like it's pretty much like it's not you. <laughs> like somebody is either friend zoning somebody or telling a family member like, listen, you, you really you got to chill. And, you know, that's hard for somebody to do. Oh, wow. I just looked down at the day. <laughs> Twin flame. Somebody is choosing their twin flame. It's a divine counterpart connection here. And somebody has to tell a person that they're just unavailable. They're going towards new love. But somebody is secretly like yearning for somebody. But this person already has a destined partnership with a twin flame. Oh, wow. Yep. Decision time. Someone here was with the person to learn a spiritual lesson and that's it. Now, boundaries have to be put up for somebody to go towards true love. But somebody wants a second chance. And somebody is just like, I, I know, you know, what we had was cool, but somebody has found true love now. So, yeah, somebody is putting up boundaries with like a, a friend, a family member, an ex-lover, a whomever, because... And somebody is making it clear, like, I'm not saying that what we had didn't mean anything, but somebody new is here and somebody is, cho I'm choosing new. Wow. Somebody has, somebody is really struggling with this. The fact that like this, this was a lesson. It's what, it was a spiritual lesson here that had to be learned, but this, this was not meant to be forever. This was a lesson, not a lifetime. Somebody wants a second chance, though. So this is somebody's ex that's looking at a person like, wow, that person is, is doing really well for themselves. Let me get back in. And this person is like, no. <laughs> or this is you. No, somebody knew it's here. There's not a, a second chance. Somebody knew it's here. And the, the new person is the one. Dang. It is safe for you to trust in this situation. This person's in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. You are safe and divinely guided. Wow. I mean, this sucks for anybody. You can kind of understand, but for some people who have the, the, the person in their energy that's doing magic and the manipulation, that's not okay. That's not okay.